Hi everybody, welcome to my channel AVME. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to clone your Mac hard drive and uh, then create it into a bootable drive using the disk utility. Now, this could be useful in a scenario where your main hard drive, which is installed inside your MacBook Pro or iMac, it's failing and you want to clone it onto an external hard drive. And then at a later stage, you can boot from it or you can just install that hard drive inside your iMac and uh, you can use that hard drive for time machine as well so i'm just going to go through the entire setup how to do it using the disk utility uh, which comes free with mac operating system you don't need any third party software to do the cloning and to create a bootable hard drive okay so uh, to start with go ahead uh, connect your external hard drive to your mac and uh, i've connected a lassie uh, d2 thunderbolt 2 hard drive via thunderbolt to my uh, imac and uh, i have formatted it uh, and uh, it's listed as untitled here so now the next step is to boot your imac into recovery mode by pressing uh, command R uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead do that I'm gonna restart the Mac into recovery mode I'm gonna shut it down I'm gonna restart it in recovery mode and then format this hard drive from recovery mode and I'll show you exactly how to do everything so just press command R after the chime keep holding it for about five seconds, keep holding it after the chime. And once the Apple logo appears, then just release it. So now I'm gonna zoom on the on the Mac to show you guys more what, what needs to be done next. All right guys, so it's just gonna take some time to load into the recovery mode. As once it loads into the recovery mode, then you'll see this window right here with mac os utilities so what you do is you click on the disk utility right here using your mouse and here it will show you all the hard drives connected to your mac so this is your main hard drive the internal hard drive right here and this is your external hard drive uh, so this is my external hard drive which i have connected via thunderbolt which i'm going to use it as a clone bootable hard drive so go ahead and erase this hard drive by selecting this and then click on erase and at the moment just leave it untitled now the next steps they are very important make sure the format is mac os extended journaled so from the drop down list just select that and the scheme is guild partition map this is very important so go ahead and erase it do not rename the drive to anything at this stage just format it with untitled at this stage so now it has formatted the hard drive just click on done now it has formatted the hard drive as untitled which is listed here so just go ahead and now change the name so i'm going to change the name to the exact same name of my internal hard drive so my internal hard drive is called right here avme imac make sure you name it exact so i'm just gonna call it a v m e i mac make sure all the alphabet uh, uh, uppercase lowercase they match correctly and then just press enter so now my external thunderbolt hard drive uh, is formatted and it's renamed as AVME iMac and it matches with my internal hard drive. Next step is select the external hard drive and go to edit 
and click on restore. Now it's asking what's the destination uh, device you want to restore to your external connected uh, drive. So from here select your main internal hard drive which is this one right here the built-in hard drive and can you see it's it states restore restore from so from the drop down menu i've selected my internal hard drive and then just click on restore okay, now so this is gonna take some time uh dependent uh, how much data you have got on your internal hard drive and how fast your external hard drive is now obviously you can do it on an external SSD hard drive connected via USB 3.0 or Thunderbolt port or you can do it on any conventional hard drive connected via Thunderbolt or USB 3.0. Mine is connected via Thunderbolt and uh, it's a 7200 RPM hard drive. So what this utility is doing at the moment is it's cloning my internal hard drive onto my external Lassie Thunderbolt hard drive and I'm going to show you exactly how you can uh, uh, create it as a bootable hard drive so in case your internal hard drive it fails you can still boot it from your external Thunderbolt or USB uh, hard drive and I'll show you exactly how to do it so I'll get back once this uh, restoring process is done this can take up to half an hour to few hours dependent on the size of your internal hard drive. As, uh, so the disk utility inside the recovery mode has cloned uh, my uh, uh, internal hard drive to my external Thunderbolt uh, 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 D2 hard drive and uh, now the process is done so just click on done. Now uh, how to make uh, this drive into a bootable drive now? Uh, so basically um, it has cloned the hard drive and uh, now I'm gonna go here and close the disk utility and, uh, close this right here Mac OS utilities so the minute it's gonna I'm gonna close this is it's gonna ask me are you sure you want to quit Mac OS utilities and there it gives me an option choose startup disk so I'm just going to choose the startup disk now. I'm just going to select the internal hard drive as my startup disk and I'm just going to click on restart and click on restart. So now it's going to upload into the operating system. Once it gets inside the operating system, then I'll tell you what needs to be done. So, so once you have uh, 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 loaded your iMac or MacBook Pro uh, back onto the operating system, go ahead and open system preferences. And uh, inside system preferences, you'll see startup disk. Go ahead, click on that. Now, the clone drive, uh, which we have created as cloned, uh, it would always appear in yellow and uh, the internal hard drive it would appear as gray so now I'm gonna select the uh, bootable drive uh, the external uh, hard drive as my bootable drive uh, so I'm just gonna select that I'm telling the uh, Mac operating system that use my external clone hard drive uh, to uh, boot and to load into Mac operating system. So this is the exact clone copy and uh, let's do that. So I've selected my external hard drive which would always appear in yellow and the internal hard drive would always appear in gray. So go ahead select the uh, external hard drive and uh, go ahead and click on restart. So it's asking for permission, go ahead and restart it. So now what will happen is this, uh, instead of uh, booting from the internal hard drive, it's gonna boot from the external 
uh, Lassie Thunderbolt hard drive now or whatever hard drive you have connected like uh, SSD via Thunderbolt or USB it's gonna boot from that so there you go so basically now it's booting the operating system from the external hard drive if you have connected a uh, SSD hard drive, obviously the process would be much faster. Uh, but as I said, this is Thunderbolt. Uh, so, so it's a PCI uh, connection to the motherboard. Uh, so it should be as fast as the internal hard drive. And both my external and internal hard drive, they're 7200 RPM. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, select my account and put in the password. So now, guys, I have booted from my external Lassie Thunderbolt hard drive and I can run my operating system. As I said, this is a really useful feature uh, out of the box from Mac operating system in case uh, you want to clone your internal hard drive and have a backup hard drive in case your internal hard drive fails. Uh, or if you're looking to replace the internal hard drive, this is how you clone the uh, hard drive. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go back into system preferences and change the startup disk. As you can see right here. To the internal hard drive. And uh, uh, then I'm going to set up. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the external hard drive uh, as time machine backup. So it becomes your clone hard drive. It has the clone bootable image of your uh, internal hard drive and then it will have a timeline backups of whatever you would do. So now I'm going to boot from the internal hard drive which is always listed in gray and the external hard drive would always be listed in yellow so i'm just going to restart from the internal hard drive now and set up the external hard drive as a timeline backup as well which i'll show you guys how to do it So obviously by looking at this, you can compare uh, the booting speed, uh, the minute it restarts, how long it took from the external Thunderbolt hard drive, which is 7200 RPM to load into the operating system and how long it's taking for the internal hard drive, which is again 7200 RPM to load into the operating system. You can compare the timing and stuff. Okay, so just gonna log in now. So now it has loaded from the internal hard drive and uh, here on the right hand side uh, my external uh, hard drive is appearing as uh, AVME iMac and I'm gonna uh, turn this hard drive into time machine backup so go ahead open the system preferences again and go to timeline and select backup disk so here I've got the option of my external hard drive 3.87 terabyte hard drive I'm gonna select that uh, I'm not gonna encrypt the backups so just use disk and just check backup automatically and that's it guys so this is how you set up an external hard drive uh, to clone your internal hard drive and make it as bootable using the disk utility uh, feature of mac operating system and then uh, set up that device external hard drive uh, for regular timeline backups so in case your internal hard drive fails at any stage, you have got a clone 
uh, of your hard drive and then you have you have timeline backups as well uh, so you got a complete solution out of the box in Mac operating system and obviously as I said if in future you are planning uh, to install an external SSD hard drive inside your computer then this is how you clone the internal hard drive onto an external hard drive all right guys hope you have liked this video about how to uh, clone your internal Mac hard drive and create it as a bootable operating system drive and uh, how to uh, set it up as timeline backups. If you like this video, please click on the like icon, share the video with as many people as you can and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.